G'day mate, it's Dave from Down Under here again from BM Pro Headquarters and today we're going to go over this acronym called OTA. No idea what it's about but I brought along one of our experts, Richard, who you've met before and he's going to help us cover on OTA. So Richard, what is OTA? OTA stands for Over the Air Update. All it's responsible is to update the app on your RV Master controller and the firmware on the RV Master node. So we can update, the beauty of this is we're now going to be able to update things as we go. As long as you can connect to the internet, we can get the latest version of software. I guess that's sort of like your mobile phone, isn't it? Absolutely. So every time we make improvements, um, we will send it up to, uh, up to, to Google yep. and uh, you'll be able to update and get the latest firmware, latest features as on the tip of your fingers, really. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's zoom in and we'll get a close up on it. Sounds good. All right, Richard, let's zoom in on this now and give our users out there a little bit of a tech tip on how they're going to do the OTA, the over the air updates. All right, talk me through it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have internet. Now, uh, make sure you're in Wi Fi range. Drop, drop down from the top, press and hold. So I guess this is very similar to if you're just connecting your Wi-Fi at home or even if you're in a public place, you just open up the Wi-Fi connections, yep. get yourself a Wi-Fi connection that you can connect to and then get yourself on Wi-Fi and then connect to the internet. Absolutely, you can also hotspot hot spot your phone. Okay. If you need yeah. to. Very simple um, to do it. And you Obviously just add you need to be aware of data charges then. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so where do we go from there? So once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is update your app. The way you do that is by clicking on the Play Store icon, Google Play Store icon, and sign in. Okay, so now because we've developed this in an Android platform, people are going to have to go into the Google Play Store. You won't be able to download this through Apple or anything else like that, correct? Um, you can, but not, not for this, not for the RV, uh, and not for, for not this controller. Not for the controller. RV Master? Okay, so for the RV Master specifically, we must go in via the Google Play Store. Correct. If you want to control your, uh, your RV Master using iOS, you've got your phone app to do that. Right, okay, no worries um, at all. So this is all pretty normal. Yep. Just go in there, create yourself a Google account well, if, if you don't already have one. Yep, you've got, you've got your create account uh, button right there and you just follow the, the prompts from there. All right, and to go back, we just use that little button yep. on the bottom there, back to our main screen. Yep. All right. Okay, next part, Rich, what are we going to do? So what you're going to do now is um, I'm going to sign in. Now you've logged in via your Gmail account and gone into the Google Play Store and not to bore you with Richard's touch typing skills, he's already typed in RV Master <laughs> and this is what you're looking for down the bottom here. BM Pro RV Master TMC. We tap into that if you would. And here we go. Never run install. Update. Let's click on update and we'll get the latest version. Fat fingers. Needed a couple of touches. <laughs> All right. All right. So we've just updated it via the Google Play Store. And as you can see, we've got our RV Master logo down there in the bottom left hand corner. If hypothetically, Richard, that icon had dropped off or similar, what would the user do? Usually if the app is already installed, it'll be among all the apps that are installed. So all you have to do is scroll up from the home page and there it is. Yeah. yeah. And then we click and drag that normally. And you can move apps around like you would normally move them around. So that would just create another shortcut if you wanted a short, another shortcut. Yep. All right, Richard. So we've just done the update through the Google Play Store. And next, my understanding is it would just be a normal pop-up window, which comes up on the screen. In our case, it's actually already been done, but it'd get a normal pop-up window as if you're updating your phone, and then you have to go through and install that. There is no version to actually cancel. You've got to go through and actually do that install. Yep, so mandatory updates, it will go through as a pop-up, and it will just say accept. Um, if it was a non-mandatory update, then there would be a update bar in the top right hand corner of your app and you can choose to update it whenever you like. Alright, fantastic. I think we've got it covered for the time being. Cheers Rich. Thank you.